When I came on board as Attorney General, even in 2019, Jerry Innes was just one of those employees who just shined and, and he showed his dedication, commitment, and just his energy in just working um, in the department. He was um, working out of paternity and child support uh, division of the Department of Justice and was just so motivating and inspiring and moving forward. He then became the special agent in charge and well-deserving. This, this honor is well-deserving for Mr. Innes. Uh, he's, he's been a, a trainer at the police academy. I had heard about his, um, his, his really outstanding uh, performance when he was in the police academy. And then after that, uh, he became a trainer right away, and just outstanding. And he has even trained in firearms and firearms certification. And I got the benefit of his training for that as well. And so I congratulate you, Agent Innes, Special Agent in Charge, his employee of the year. I'd like to say thank you to each and everyone that actually nominated me for this position. And I appreciate it very much. Special Agent in Charge basically is the supervisor for the agents at Paternity and Child Support. Our duties basically have to deal with enforcement. So any enforcement measures taken by the office, we are the ones that execute those measures. Serving subpoenas for you know, hearing dates, locating individuals to come to court to assist the caseworkers with cases, that's our primary function. I assist with the sex offender um, registry in their roundups, their you know, annual roundups. I also help with witness protection, so whenever there, there's a need for us to do witness protection, I'm one of the agents that assist with the witness protection. Of course, we're in the, the Attorney General's detail, so that's one of the all uh, functions that we, we do. I came in as a field investigator. That is a civilian investigator for paternity and child support. So um, I was unarmed. Um, I didn't have any arrest powers at that time, but um, I attended the Virgin Islands Police Academy and I, you know, attained peace officer status. I'm an instructor at the Virgin Islands Police Academy. Um, I'm a firearms instructor. I'm a OC and baton instructor, I am a tactical medical instructor, I'm an active shooter instructor, I'm a defensive tactics instructor. The Department of Justice sends us off to training. Um, the AG believes in training, so you know we go to trainings um, on a regular basis to keep our skills, to keep our, you know, just basically equipped us with the, you know, with the knowledge that we need to perform on a daily basis. A lot of the trainings that I did was at the Federal Law Enforcement Training Center, um, FLETC as, as it's called. Um, I go away and we do, you know, sometimes week-long classes, two week-long classes, sometimes, you know, to get, you know, the trainings in. If you're a law enforcement personnel and you want to come to paternity or, you know, Department of Justice, you have to be law enforcement sworn. So you have to have that peace officer status and, you know, we, we want people with degrees in criminal justice or some kind of expertise. It's strenuous at times. We do work a lot with other law enforcement agencies. In my capacity as the special agent in charge, I basically oversee the unit, but I also have to you know, fill in when there's a void. So oftentimes I do that, I work late hours. Um, typically, my day starts at 3 o'clock in the morning, so um, I get up at 3, I head to the police academy, I do physical training with the recruits, and then my day starts at 8 o'clock after that. My official paternity day starts at 8 o'clock. I was walking through the main justice building and I was hearing some of the employees saying congratulations. but. In my head, I, I had recently come back from California doing an extradition of a suspect wanted in a murder trial, and I thought everybody was congratulating me based on the extradition. But you know, my, my email popped up. I read the email and I was like, "Oh, okay, wow." But I was very, very happy. Thank you to the Department of Justice, uh, the Attorney General, the Director of Paternity and Child Support, Mr. Joseph my direct supervisor, 
Ms. Catherine Jensen, the Lugo, and the whole nominating committee. I can't forget Mr. Trapman, the Human Resources Director. Department of Justice, uh, we have a small staff, but small people do big things. Uh, our unit is close-knit. Uh, we assist each other. Um, we, we have a good team. And, you know, I, I like our closeness because, you know, we get a lot of things accomplished together.